Beautifying Boise, right now there's a group of people who are trying to raise money to paint a mural that can be seen as you drive along the freeway. Our Shira Matsuzawa joins us live now with the vision that this group has and what inspired it. Shira? Mark and Tammy, you've probably driven by this wall without even realizing it, but now a group of folks want to make sure it brightens your day and helps beautify this area. Just feet away from the connector lies this wall. It's bare right now, but a group of people are hoping to change that. This particular on-ramp is how most of the folks on the bench access the green belt. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit maybe sad and depressing as is. We're hoping that uh, by engaging the help of local artists, we can beautify it and uh, just kind of brighten people's day as they kind of round this corner. We really try to improve our na neighborhood according to the, the ideas of the people that live here. We have a beautiful neighborhood, but we are surrounded by walls. Deborah Mjolnir and Alex Facilla are part of the Central Rim Neighborhood Association. They started a GoFundMe in hopes of raising $12,000 to paint a mural on the wall. So that's going to include painting supplies, primer, paint, the artist's time. You know, the Idaho Department of Transportation uh, requires that we get insurance on all the people that are working on it. Alex put out a call on Facebook to local artists. Those artists submitted designs and then the neighborhood voted on which design they liked best, which led them to partnering with Sector 17, who has done work on Freak Alley. I just hope it brightens people's day and it brings them a little bit of joy as they pass. We're going to do some green gradient color blocking across the top and then the flowers across the bottom. We chose green because a lot of times in spring the weeds kind of grow up between the cracks and it'll help to kind of hide that growth when it happens. Knowing that people are viewing your work and, and it's making an impact on them, whether it's subconsciously or not, it's just really cool to be able to connect with your community. Now, as for a time frame for when this could be done, Alex tells me it depends on how many donations they get, but they hope to have it done by next spring or next summer. Back to you guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, neat idea. I like it. Thanks, Shira.